Toby's probably been my closest brother growing up. I mean, I have a twin brother, but um, just growing up, I've always been closest with Toby. Making fun of each other, that's our relationship, is just going back and forth. Anything it comes down to, one of us is trying to be better than the other. We both played offense and defense together at our high school team. He was the defensive end on one side and I was the defensive end on the other. And it was just really cool because no matter who, what side they ran to, it always was a McBride making a tackle, whether it was him or whether it was me. Just thinking back to it, it's kind of crazy where even having two Division I athletes on the same team is kind of you know, something different and not really um, you know, seen a lot. I signed, and on signing day, I think they called an offer trade that very same day. You went the brother route with the Ford Morgan tight end and Trey McBride. Well, I think Trey McBride is a special football player. Growing up, I mean, I didn't really know what it took to be a Division I athlete. I mean, it's something I would have never thought of, but once it kind of came to reality, when Toby started getting scholarships and stuff, I was like, well, maybe I have the chance goes back to the old competitive nature. Uh, I wanted to be better than he was his freshman year. So as soon as I came in, I know he played. He had a great freshman year, got a couple of awards and stuff. So I wanted to one-up that and get more awards than him. I wanted to be better than he was his freshman year. Hit and wrapped up from behind by freshman Toby McBride. When he committed and signed, I was at that point, I had been thinking that um, I was going to be back when he got on campus and eventually started playing. So. Uh, when that didn't happen, it was kind of just, you know, delaying uh, what we wanted to have happen. The play fake, he wants to throw, loads up, fires down the middle of the field, has Trey McBride, caught it to 20, broke it, tackle 15, to the 10, he's to the 5, touchdown! Colorado State and Trey McBride, the true freshman. That was my first catch was in that game, and then little did I know that my first touchdown was going to be in that game too, but um, as soon as I got to the... Uh, my phone after the game, I had calls and texts from my brother, my family. He was kind of hurt that he wasn't there, but I knew deep down like he had no other option but to not be there. But uh, it meant a lot that he texted me or called me, um, told me that he wishes he was there. Yeah, I didn't really know how much it was going to mean to me. Um, I knew I couldn't be there for the Florida game. I knew what he was going through and I knew how much pain he was in. I mean, he would, it would hurt for him to walk around, it would hurt for him to come to practice and he would just complain and be in so much pain all night and I, I really felt bad for him. There's a couple of periods there where, you know, I kind of plateaued. I wasn't getting better. Um, my drills weren't going good. I would just be in pain from walking around and it wasn't going away. So um, I hit some low spots and I ended up walking into Joey's office, let him know, letting him know where I was and um, he kind of just said, um, you should go talk to it with Bobo. So I went up with Bobo, kind of laid it out for him too. And um, I was ready to leave the team at that point and kind of just medically retire, um, with, which wouldn't be a problem because I've had multiple doctors tell me that I probably should. I know uh, talking to my mom and talking to my parents and stuff, uh, I knew there was pros and cons to both him staying, there was pros and cons to both him leaving, but I know one of the pros for him to stay was that he wanted to play football with me, and that, that really meant a lot to me um, when, my, when I, I found out about that. Having my brother on the team just motivated me more to get back and eventually play with him. I've played in, I think, 12, 12 Division I games now. Uh, that was my 13th game, but I mean, nothing's going to be as special as that game to me, and knowing that you and your brother are going to be on the same field at the same time doing doing stuff like that so it was really it was really cool and special knowing that this was our first game at the next level that we're going to be able to play together you say you trying to reach the sky you can do it all it takes is time you got to work if you try to fly you can do it all it takes is time it was really cool i mean i was i was sitting there on the sideline just came off the field from a drive and I, I see him go out there and his first quarter he had a few tackles, tackles for loss and stuff like that and I see him jumping around amped up. I mean it was like just like old times back in high school where he was making plays and, and stuff like that. So it was really it was really cool to see him amped up, jacked up and screaming and stuff because it's been so long since I've seen him out there on the field playing like that. So it was really it was really cool to see. It's pretty emotional. Um, it's kind of hard to hold back when you're out there, but it was an emotional game altogether. Um, but making plays and 
uh, hearing my teammates say that, um, it's good to see me back out there again. Coaches, fans say that, so it just means a lot to me. Now that I'm actually on the field and I'm amped up, I'm in the game, I'm playing. Um, this past game, uh, he made a couple catches and I found myself kind of leaving the defensive huddles to go run down there and cheer him on, run down the sideline. and. Um, I'm sure the defensive coaches didn't like that very much, but I mean, I couldn't help it. Uh, it means a lot to me to see him out there, so. You kind of know that he's always going to be there for me, whether he's on the opposite side of the ball for me. Like, if I have a good play, I'll come back to the huddle and I'll hear him tell me it was a good play, or, or um, I'm always talking smack to him while he's on defense, telling him that he's not doing good enough or something. But, I mean, I always know that it's going to push him and, and, and make him go harder, even, even though that he's going as hard as he can. So, I mean, it's, it's really special that I'm able to be out on the field with him.